Hello, this is Daniel Plays. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which I'm going to show you how to get the RTX textures and shaders on Minecraft Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. That's right, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at RTX textures and shaders in Bedrock Edition for Windows 10. The render engine has changed with version 1.16.200 or 200. I'm not really sure how that works. At least I am sure that the old shaders that we used to be able to use for Windows 10 Edition no longer work, but you can now actually download third party packs that will work and will actually make the RTX textures and shaders available on any world you want. Don't worry, the pack we're going to be downloading is completely free. Actually, all RTX RTX packs should be free so if there's anyone out there telling you otherwise they're probably after your money and yeah you shouldn't trust them so if this is actually the video you were looking for then be sure to give it a thumbs up before we begin and of course if you really like this type of content then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and one more thing before we get started if you're looking for a good and reliable minecraft server host then definitely be sure to check out my link down below in the description to apex minecraft hosting if you do buy a server using that link then you will indirectly support my channel as well so without further ado here's Here's how to download and install an RTX pack for Minecraft Windows 10 Bedrock Edition. Now before the recent updates you could just go over to the NVIDIA website and a look at this article and then scroll down a little bit and actually download official NVIDIA packs for RTX textures and shaders but it no longer really works well they still will activate the shaders but the problem is the textures don't work anymore because with the recent render engine overhaul that they did to make RTX textures work better, both these packs and the other shaders that you used to be able to download in the past are now useless. So what we're going to do in this video is actually download and install a pack, a third party pack, just a community created pack that will still activate both textures and RTX shading. So let's start from scratch. We're on my desktop right here. You can use the link down below in the description to go to the page that we're going to be downloading the pack from really quickly, really easily. If you don't trust yourself and you don't want to do everything manually, you can just use that link. But if you want to do it manually, you open up your browser, you look for vanilla RTX just like that, and you want to actually pick the one that says MCPEDL. Now, in the past, I wasn't really fond of this website because it looked a bit sketchy and the download links would lead to adware and stuff like that but for this pack i've gone over and checked the download links and they should be very straightforward there should be no redirects it should be a direct download for these rtx textures so these are the textures we're going to be downloading with this pack you know as you can see it activates rtx as well you can see the reflections right here this looks really really cool now this is exactly what you're going to get. So one thing I do want to say is that you do need a ray tracing capable graphics card to actually be able to see this in Minecraft. And many people forget about this. They think maybe their Intel integrated graphics can actually run this. Unfortunately, they haven't gone to actually optimizing it for very low end systems. But if you have a decent graphics card that is either an RTX graphics card or I believe the latest AMD graphics card have also uh, been given the capability to use these. So if you have any of those, one of the more recent graphics cards, then you should be able to use this. If you really have a very old graphics card or a graphics card that just can't do ray tracing, then unfortunately, you still can't use shaders for Minecraft Bedrock Edition on Windows 10. So like I said, once you're on this page, just scroll down to where it says downloads right here. And we're just going to be downloading this first one. If you do want to download the other ones later on, you can add those as well. Just click the one that says vanilla RTX version 2.5 MC pack. Well, if a new version is released, you just click that version as long as it's a link similar to this one. You just click it and as you can see, the download has now started, which is perfect. And after we've finished downloading this, it's actually very convenient because we do not have to rename it as is the case with most other packs where they're a zip file and you have to rename it to an MC pack. All we really need to do now is click this. It will automatically launch Minecraft and it will automatically start importing this pack. There we go. It says import started. That is perfect. There we go. Successfully imported vanilla RTX. So now we're actually going to create a new world. Create new, create new world. Set it to creative because I want to actually just show you what the textures look like. And then you need to come down to resource packs right here. 
because it won't always be selected by default. As you can see, the RTX pack is not active here. So once again, click my packs, click the vanilla RTX one, click activate. And now there's two active packs, including the RTX pack. Now, if you click create, you should be able to see the RTX textures and shaders in your world. I'm gonna click create and actually show you what it looks like. All right, so there we are, look at this. Now these are some proper shaders because obviously you were able to use shaders before these RTX packs were around, but come on, you'll have to admit that those shaders never looked as good as they did. First of all, on Java edition, those look way better, but now with these RTX packs, I mean, this looks really, really good. The, the lighting is actually way more realistic than even on Java Edition because these RTX packs have some very unique features that normal packs, even on Java Edition, aren't able to do. SUS PTGI is getting close to that, but the normal packs like BSL, they can't do path trace to global illumination, stuff like that. I'm not going to bother you with all these technical things, but that's actually really cool that you can now download free packs like this and actually use those on your world. So as you can see, this vanilla RTX pack that we just downloaded and installed has some dents in the textures, which is called PBR, which is really cool because it gives kind of the illusion of depth in the textures. Now, as you can see, you can see the little reflections on the sand. They're very, very subtle, but it, they're really cool. Now, these are the little things, the little details that you're gonna actually see with these packs. And I really, really love this. And the best thing is it runs so incredibly well. I'm playing this on a 3070, which of course is very well optimized for this kind of stuff but it runs so smoothly. You could definitely play Minecraft with this pack and not even notice any difference in FPS or anything like that. So that's been it for this video. If this video actually did teach you how to activate RTX in Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows 10, then be sure to give it a thumbs up. I would definitely appreciate that. And like I said in the beginning of this video, if you're into Minecraft content like this video, be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and you know what, hit the bell notification right next to it whilst you're at it. And then without further ado, I will as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!